everybody. So, for those of you who are just tuning in, we are making a raw vegan chili. Which, they don't even sound like they go together, but they, we can do it. And what I've got in this food processor so far is walnuts. Um, I've, I've got pumpkin seeds, some onions, some garlic, and some sun-dried tomatoes. This is going to make sort of a meaty mixture. And to that, we're going to add our spices and seasonings, which I've got some salt. So I'm definitely going to add some salt to that. I like heat, so we're going to add some cayenne pepper. We're going to add a little bit of, even though we have the fresh onion and garlic in there, the dried onion and garlic or the powdered one, actually gives a nice flavor. So a little bit of the powdered onion, onion powder, and a little bit of the garlic powder. And to this I'm also going to add a little bit of cumin. And what else would be good in chili? Paprika. I think we've got paprika. In the uh, mix here, to uh, catch up everybody who's just joined us, is pumpkin seeds, walnuts, onion, garlic, and then lots of spices that we've added. And then I've got some of these sundry tomatoes which we'll chop and we'll put in there. We'll make kind of like a paste. And then we'll put it with the fresh tomatoes and some seasonings. And that'll be our chili. And then we can put that in the dehydrator, which will warm it up, or you can eat it as is. So I'm just going to toss this about a little bit. And actually, I think it was a great idea that you had earlier to put a little olive oil in that's going to soften it up. So we're going to add just a bit. We'll help get the blade to spin. What other kind of stuff do you like to put in chili that, that spice-wise? Normally it's like, oh, chili powder, hello. The main ingredient, you can't make chili without chili powder. I'll tell you, you can make it without the meat and the beans with the chili powder. But that's the key ingredient. Okay, so we got to add some chili powder to our chili so we can even call it chili. Oh, that's quite a bit. We already added our olive oil, so let's go ahead and... This about. And the, and the uh, cool thing is, like with the sun-dried tomatoes mixed with the walnut, it gives it that look, you know. It makes the right kind of meaty-ish texture or whatever that people look for when they're eating chilies. Even when they're making the vegan chilies and they're making it with that PVP stuff, they're trying to get that texture. And we might put some mushrooms in a little bit later. We might try that out. I have put mushrooms in the chili before. Because chili... Um, if you ever had like portobello mushrooms, they're kind of meaty too. And so this is a kind of a hearty dish. And so if you're going to make it, you know, make it kind of um, what kind of taste you like. I, you know, everybody's got their own favorite chili recipe, so there's many variations on this. Okay, now I'm going to taste it and see where we're at. Tasty. Needs a little bit more salt. A little more spice. I think we're gonna go ahead and put some of this jalapeno in there. Make that. Ba -ba -ba. So we can get the heat. Who wants cold, boring chili? Even if it is raw, it doesn't have to be cold and boring. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up. A little jalapeno, throw in there. How many jalapenos do you think one could reasonably add to the chili? Well, depends on your taste buds, you know. I would probably go with, start with half a chili, or half a jalapeno, and then work your way up, but taste it as you go, because you can always add more and you can't take away, you know. 
be a little bit more on the conservative side. But if you want like the five alarm chili or something, then you're going for a whole other thing. All right, this is these are some big chunks of jalapeno. I'm going to mince these up. If I don't, somebody's going to bite into this and end up with this huge jalapeno piece, and that won't be good. Unless you love jalapenos, my dad does. He used to eat them for context. Good magazine in the bathroom. Yeah, they'll help clean you out there, you know. That's one good thing. You never have constipation problems. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have a little, <coughs> a little bit of jalapeno, how's that about? chili powder because it's just not chilly enough for me. Lots of chili powder. And some chili powders you get are spicier than others, so you just got to check yours out. You know, sometimes I'll buy them in bulk and they're like really spicy and other times they're it's just like, where is the chili in this? I can't even taste it. Pinch more salt, and then we're going to blend this up. 